Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me AD744. So today guys, I want to talk to you guys about the Brazil Serie A guys. And I think we have to discuss about this because this is a quite insane title race. Look how how competitive this is. Yeah, Botafogo, that was a team that was running away with the league. They were like unstoppable. I think they were like 10 or 12 points clear at the top of the table. They were amazing. Now all of a sudden, they have squandered their league. They have dropped points the last couple of games. And now there's a real danger. They may not even win the league. Now, I think they're guaranteed to get um, Copa Libertadores, so that's good for them at least. Um, actually, are they even guaranteed? Uh, I'm not even sure if they're guaranteed. Um, so, actually, yeah, yeah, I think they're guaranteed. They're guaranteed. And then, obviously, you have Gremio, who've been amazing. They've got, they picked up a lot of good form recently. And you have Luis Suarez there that's been influential. Obviously, Botafogo, you have uh, Diego Costa. Palmeiras, we know how good that team is. You, know, you have, you have Entrick, of course. Uh, Red Bull Bragantino, a good solid team, and then Flamengo, of course, the team that won the Libertadores, and uh, not sorry, Libertadores won last season the league title, I believe, right? I think they won the last season. No, no, Palmeiras won the league title, right? Yeah, Palmeiras won it. Yeah, yeah. Flamengo won the Libertadores, though. Right. Anyways, they got Atletico um, Monero and Atletico Paranaense. I feel like for the rest, it's pretty much over. Like I don't think Fluminense can do it. I mean, they already won the Libertadores, so it doesn't really matter. And the rest is not going to do it, Sao Paulo. And they even look at the relegation battles also pretty tight because America MG is pretty much guaranteed to get relegated. Santos, Corinthians, they're going to still battle it out for that, um, your, um, for the continental spots, of course. Bahi as well. And so looking at their games, guys, let's look at the games we. Um, it's going to be interesting. So um, today's fixtures, today's match day, uh, I think the big one is Flamingo versus Fluminense. That's the big matchup. If Flamingo can win that, they put themselves in a really good position. And considering that Fluminense are pretty much playing for nothing like flamingo has to win that one then tomorrow we have red bull bragantino versus botafogo that is a crucial game i think i think it but it's still in their own hands for botafogo however they cannot drop more points if they lose one more game then it's not really in their hands anymore so they have to somehow be red bull bragantino on the road which is going to be a very difficult task then um match day we have two games at hand i believe for fortaleza cruzio um that's going to be their game in hand, and yeah. And then obviously you have Flamengo versus Red Bull, Bragantino. Uh, the Botafogo plays Santos FC at home. And while they may seem like an easy game, Santos is battling relegation. So that's going to be a very difficult game. So I would not say it's a guaranteed three points. Um, yeah, for, 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 probably from this match date, though, it's probably um, the matchup that stands out the most is probably Flamengo versus Red Bull, Bragantino, probably, I would say. Then, um, oh yeah, I should be doing this by round. I should be doing that all this time. Okay, by round. So round 34 we already discussed. Round 35 we already discussed as well. Round 36. Now I believe there's um 38 games. So there's like a couple games left. Round 36, you have for this one Flamengo versus Atletico MG. That should be interesting to see what happens. Uh, and Botafogo is playing Cort Cortiba away. That's going to be interesting. Botaf Botafogo have to win that game. Uh, round 37. We have here is wow, all the games are taking place simultaneously. Uh, Palmeiras versus Fluminense could be huge, and the Botafogo is playing Cruzio at home at around 38. Um, they're finding the match day, the final match day is international away. So, really, for me, for Botafogo, man, their d biggest challenge is going to definitely be um, uh, Red Bull Bragantino. That's going to be the most difficult challenge. And I believe they have a game in hand, if I want to say. I think they have a game in hand. Let me check the table. They, do they have a game in hand? Yes, they do have a game in hand. So, um, when do they play their game in hand? Let me see. Does it say here? Um, hold on. Let, let me see. Because a Google thing doesn't didn't work. So, let me see. What's up? Um, let's see. It doesn't say right here, bro. Oh, right here it says. Okay, so this is their game in hand. Cruzio is their game in hand, guys, I think. I think Cruzio is their game in hand. So... That's going to be interesting to see how that pans out because that's a very, very crucial game. So for me, for Botafogo, man, the most difficult game is definitely going to be Bragantino on the road. I think if they can get the, if they can win that game, then I think they could win the rest. But I'm just not really sure because look at how bad Botafogo have been. Like, they haven't won a game since, um, they haven't won a game since they beat, um, Bahia, August 27th. They need to start winning games. They need to, actually, sorry, October 18th was the last time they won. They need to start winning games, man. They cannot afford to lose any more of these games, you know. And especially what's the crazy thing is that they've been taking the lead in most of those games, and they've been squandering the lead. Like, they took the lead against Palmeiras, they bottled it. And they took the lead against Gremio, they bottled it. So, like, they have to ensure they keep holding on to the lead. Because, come on, please, Botafogo. It would be a great story for them to win the league. I would, I want them to win the league, guys. So, please, 
I want them to win the league. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. How excited you are for the Brazil thinking could this be the best title race in you um best title race in the world like is this like the most best title race we have in the world i also want you guys to answer that question below in the comments below so if you guys did enjoy this video i want you guys to like and subscribe comment below, below and yeah i'll see you guys later peace